Howdy, 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 my beautiful Scorpio. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Valka, and today we're going to get into your weekly tarot reading, Scorpio, for June 2022. All right. If you enjoy this tarot reading here today, Scorpio, let me know in the comments below how this tarot reading resonates, because that's how I keep up with y'all. Hello. As well as be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. It's completely free to do, Scorpio. If you're not part of the family, what are you doing? And it helps me out a lot. So I always appreciate it if you take the extra time to do that for me. All right. So, Scorpio, be aware to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign to get the full spectrum what's going down in your life in specific all right that's how you you gotta make these general tarot readings work for you, you gotta cater to your chart all right so let's just see what the tea is for you scorpio what's going on with you right at this point in time <clears throat> all righty back of the deck energy is the five of wands and the place that i want to be seeing the five of wands in most importantly it is the uh card of conflict it's in the reverse here scorpio all right so i feel as if this is a sense of togetherness here all right the conflicts the obstacles that you have been having to deal with here scorpio for quite some time here are starting to loosen up here all right what i be what i get for a lot of you guys here scorpio is this sense of where y'all are starting to pull out where it is that you are investing your energy into a uh, sense of where y'all are pulling out from uh old relationships that are not uh, providing you of any value here or just learning how to how would you say this scorpio learning how to drop uh projects that were not very fruitful for you all right i feel like for you guys currently scorpio that's what has been holding you back here almost this sense of like borderline obsession almost of just like constantly running through like what has happened to you or constantly having to manage with relationships whether that's platonic family darling romantic it's not my business to be uh figuring out right but it's just like i see the sense where like due to you having to cater towards a lot of relationships that just do nothing but really bring you conflict here um i see you finally pulling away from that and that's where you start seeing a lot more progression in your life here scorpio is by starting to making yourself the first priority you're no longer trying to it's like you're no longer making relationships working uh like constantly trying to figure out relationships in your life just because you've known them for a long time here it's like you release yourself from the obligation of uh ha being having a thriving relationship with certain people just because it's like if they want to complicate things and allow them to you just are at a place now scorpio where i don't see you really fighting for things that are just from your point of view realize that's just like it's just doing nothing but bringing more drama i feel like that's what's really turned you off recently score i mean more than just recently but i feel like that's what you will do your best to avoid at this time is like the moment there's some type of complication the moment there's like some type of implication scorpio that you have to walk around on eggshells or just deal with like you, you just are not interested in uh relationships and things that take too much of your energy anymore now let's continue on here <clears throat> we have the justice as well as the six of swords here in the reverse as well as the temperance energy coming in here for you all right and then in the back of the deck here we have the knight of swords i get like this direct message here scorpio where it's just like for you it's like you're you're leaving <laughs> you're leaving the titanic as it's sinking that's what i feel with this it's like you're leaving the titanic as it's sinking you're choosing to jump ship before everything like starts spiraling out of control here all right i feel like for you scorpio some of you guys just need to hear this message or just like letting you know that you made the right decision all right releasing yourself from the guilt and not being able to help out or save anybody else right it's one of those things where it's like you can't convince scorpio other people that the titanic is sinking darling all right because at the risk of your own health you got to save yourself at some point so i get like the sense of where um swift justice which uh swift karma coming in for some individual scorpio that have either wronged you or something in this way here i get like this sense here scorpio it's like the what it is that you end up detaching yourself from scorpio it's like shortly afterwards they realize where it is that they messed up a big time here all right so it's one of those things where i don't know scorpio if you do some type of you know do a little bit of your own ritual work honey a little bit of your own hexes honey okay but this gives me this direct uh association here scorpio like those who have wronged you are definitely going to be regretting it here big time so uh let's delve into that a little bit more <clears throat> see what other detail we can get with that we have the hanged man coming in here queen of pentacles with the queen of swords in the in the back of the deck here 
All right, so this is what's really happening here. All right, it feels like a pride thing. You know what I feel like happened with this? It's like someone, like this person is very much so in their ego big time here uh scorpio this is very much so someone who is very self-centered that you had to let me get this showing that you had to scorpio girl let me get this situated you had to scorpio be like be the queen of swords with this because you realize like how selfish the situation was it felt as if like all this person cared about like what was like good for them right they weren't really considering like how you were feeling in situations they were like taking you for granted scorpio like there's just like a lot of energy here where it's just you couldn't do it anymore is what i feel because it's like you you realize you were not getting anything out of it and they're gaining so much from your existence from your presence it's like they never wanted to share anything they never wanted to be the one to put in the work it's almost as if they don't realize like how much work you always would put into it and so what i see happening here it's like very swift like a, a very swift ego check for them it's like the moment you cut yourself off from the situation here they get like a wake rude wake up call here of realizing just where it is that they messed up in here i feel as if for them like it's like their finances immediately start plummet plummeting here it's the sense of where i feel like some type of secret that they've had ends up being exposed it's like because for you scorpio you like sat there and watched and observed them and like what it is that they were presenting to everybody else it's like you were watching this ticking time bomb and like you saw the truth before anybody else did and eventually the truth finally comes out about this person that you always knew along all along but it's just like they have like their whole world like implode essentially here <laughs> scorpio by you choosing to separate yourself it's really interesting like this kind of gives me the implication here scorpio of, like how much damage control that you did with this situation like it really shows to you like how like you know that's not normal scorpio it's like it's not normal for this first like some person's lives to be so impacted like everything crumbles around them just because you decide to no longer help them live their life that just really shows like how how unstable that energy is it's kind of crazy um but uh let's continue on here scorpio is there anything else that needs to come forward to you darling mm -mm. The queen of swords coming right back out here for you all right back of the deck here firstly is the ten of swords here uh scorpio so this is very much so like bittersweet energy scorpio all right i don't know what it is that is, has come to a close for you but it's like you see a situation for what it is now and it's like, you just no longer have any interest in trying to make it work out, Scorpio. All right. You see the situation and it's just like you, you're no longer even starting another chapter. You're closing out the entire book and you're just like, nope, no more of this storyline. It's like, you're really having a clean slate entirely. And with the queen of swords here, two of pentacles and the two of cups in the reverse here, this speaks on just like something that you committed to could have been like a job that you worked at for a very long time could be both here honestly for some of you scorpios where it's just like it represents the sense of partnership that you've had for a long time here that was just too much for you to juggle in your own personal life that you had to be the queen of swords about here and it's like it's so interesting now that you disconnect your energy from that scorpio just how open your life becomes okay now we have the nine of pentacles here with the wheel of fortune very much so your finances pick up greatly here scorpio all right so you choosing to leave that job that you worked at for like years and years and years that always take your took you for granted like you did five people's jobs but only got enough like your paycheck only reflected one job here it's like i see for you you finally choosing to cut yourself off from those uh least fruitful situations i worded that weirdly but you choosing to cut them off it's like you have very much so uh, I see success, especially in the self-employed avenues here, Scorpio. I want to be suggesting to you, it's like, you know, if you've been thinking about starting your own business or just what have you, like, that's really what changes your financial story here. The Nine of Pentacles on its own is just the card of financial abundance through your own gatherings here, because that's the thing. If you're wanting to change your story here, Scorpio, you have the opportunity to, all right? You are going through a rebirthing process and it's through you having to have let go of so much all right did some of you guys choose to go no contact with like your entire family did you some of you guys choose to cut yourself off from friend groups or like like i just get like the sense for you scorpio like you did like the big old like you did you did the deuces honey from a major way here all right you're about to be going on a journey of independence <clears throat> 
yeah, four of cups and the seven of cups, your world becomes your oyster here. Uh, what I do want to be suggesting to you, Scorpio, let's clarify this king of swords energy here. All right. What I want to be clarifying to you guys, well, yes, I see a lot of you guys really just being stuck in that queen of swords energy because you had to. I feel like a lot of you guys, there's like some toxic relationship in your life um, really weighed you down where it's like the last thing that you want to have happen is to like because you just got out of a toxic situation the last thing you want to do is get into another situation or like talk to anyone new but i feel like for you scorpio that would be a mistake this speaks about someone that really understands you and gets you for you i'm not going to use the word soulmate or twin flame because i feel like that might be triggering for some of you scorpios because you might have thought that previous situation that you just now are able to walk away from was that but it's like this speaks on just this sense scorpio is like right when you just cut everybody out this new person makes its presence in your life here and it would be a missed opportunity if you were not to allow this energy in all right so that's what i got with that scorpio that's just you know i'm not gonna harp on that message too long just because you know it's up to you darling but just so you know it's in your awareness all right so scorpio let's just get your oracle cards for this week here hopefully you found some tarot cards that did resonate with you in this weekly reading here scorpio i really appreciate you checking this tarot reading out darling all right so let's take a look at your oracle cards for this week you have the full moon in cancer personal issues reach a resolution here music is essential to your healing and well-being whether it's singing playing an instrument or just listening scorpio all right so definitely your entire reading reflected the personal issues reaching that resolution scorpio all right take time to just like reset all right i feel like some of you guys need to introduce yourselves to some old music that you haven't listened to in such a long time because of the memories that used to be attached to it i don't know but um scorpio that's the weekly tarot reading that i have for you darling if this did resonate be sure to let me know in the comments below all right let me know that this reading was helpful to you all right be sure to give this tarot reading as well a like and subscribe darling it's completely free honey and it does help me out a lot and yeah scorpio if you want to book a private reading with me my website's linked down below simply Velka dot com next to my social medias if you would like to connect with me on a more intimate level uh tiktok and instagram simply velka same as here but um i love you so much scorpio and hopefully i can connect with you sometime in the near future bye darling